try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stained from the people who deceive me Hi there. <laughs> Snowed this morning. It's kind of a surprise, honestly. Welcome to my fifth androgynous outfit ideas video. <laughs> but my name is Iris. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome. This is a wonderful place where we explore our identities, no matter who we are. And there are snowmobiles that are really loud driving by. This edition is the date edition. Hopefully it's up in time for that one day that we all know exists. So let's talk about androgyny and what that really means. Androgyny is not masculinity on assigned female at birth bodies. That's not what that means. It can mean that, but that's not what the definition is. Androgyny by definition is a combination of masculine and feminine elements. <laughs> He's leaving. However, especially in the case of non-binary people like myself, I think that it's not necessarily very useful to be working off of definitions when we're talking about how we express ourselves because there's not one way to be non-binary and in the same sense, there's not one way to be androgynous. So in a lot of these videos, I'll often include like skirts or dresses or other typically feminine pieces and people say, that's not androgynous on you, Iris. Excuse me? <laughs> If a man can wear it and be androgynous, why can't I do that? That is the whole preface to this video. So let's talk about the collaborator for today. Dossier sent over a bunch of perfumes and a candle for me to try out. I've worked with Dossier a bunch before. You're probably very familiar with them if you have been on my channel for a while. So what they do is they make high quality, luxury inspired fragrances so that you can get the scents you love or you covet without breaking the bank. Let's check out one of these scents. Bum, bum. So this first scent is Woody Hyacinth. This is inspired by Chanel Chance. I have been Chance. <laughs> Who knows? Let's give it a smell. First impression. Oh my god, that literally blew away. Oh my god. That's just like cozy but still feminine and a little spicy. There are so many different options you can pick from online and it's a completely risk-free experience, meaning that you can try out the perfume when you buy it and if you don't like it, you can send it back for a full refund. Okay, let's talk about the candle. This is the candle in Powdery Hawthorne, which is inspired by Tom Ford Metallic. Metallic? I don't know. Can't pronounce anything. <laughs> this is what the candle looks like. Very pretty, matches the aesthetic of the bottles, of course. This one smells really like powdery. Oh my God, it, it is powdery Hawthorne. It smells powdery and sweet. And I think this would be a good bath time candle, which is what I'm planning on using it for. Residential life, you didn't see this. I do not possess a candle. What are you talking about? So they actually have a range of candles on their website, which are inspired by perfumes, high-end perfumes. So you can get your favorite scents in the form of a candle. They are also constantly expanding the scents they offer. They are very open to suggestions, so feel free to comment on their social media pages. There is also a discount for 20% off your first purchase, and I have a 10% off code. So that's Iris Olympia 10, and I will have the link in the description. Make sure you go check them out. Treat yourself to a nice smell, to smelling nice. You can't really go wrong. Thank you, Dossier, for collaborating with me again. I really appreciate it. You're going to see them in some upcoming videos as well. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> so the first look is my On Cloud 9 outfit. This is very achievable because it's kind of just a simple black outfit with a cool sweater, which I'm sure you have in your closet. So black pants, black belt, black shoes and cool sweater and then i also included this black leather jacket that i thrifted the sweater if you're curious is from asos you're gonna see a lot of repeat pieces in this video like the sunglasses the jacket and the shoes because i repeat a lot of the same things and these really are the finishing touches that pull my outfits together i talked about that a lot in my last video if you haven't seen that about how i actually pick my 
outfits <laughs> so the next outfit is my male pop star fit i style this two different ways the first one is a little more sleazy shirt untucked this is a silky satin shirt also from asos a weird number of things in this video from asos i don't know it's not really intentional but i paired that with my black jacket and i think the untucked look is actually pretty cool but also a little more put together if you tuck it in i'm wearing pretty much all of these with my binder as well just for some chest compression action. And I think this one looks super great with the leather jacket once it's all paired together because you've just got a little pop of like eccentricity from the shirt, but you still look cool because it's pretty much just an all black outfit. <laughs> so this is a similar one, but I feel like this is the outfit that the undercover prince wears in a rom-com when he's trying to conceal his identity but doesn't know how to dress like a normal person. So it's also a bit like a little sleazy just because of the very deep v-neck um, and the leather jacket i think it looks really cool i kind of prioritize looking cool in this video because if you're going on a date you probably want to look cool i don't have a lot of formal wear so looking quote unquote nice is not my strength <laughs> but i feel like this one is cool so there you go so this one is my cat Fit. But this is very reminiscent of the outfit that I showed in my very first fashion video about a year ago. Thematic clothing, you know I love it. This one is for the gays. You clicked on this video, you know who you are. But the shirt is a hand-me-down. The jacket is from Alfred Eden. My Instagram ads got me, okay? Um, and this shirt is actually pretty long. But I have the back of this shirt tucked in because I'm wearing a jacket and you can't really see that. And what this does is it helps control the length of the shirt, which is something that I do a lot when I am styling because I wear a lot of really large graphic t-shirts. This is another outfit featuring the cat jacket. I feel like this is perfect for going to like the bookstore or to a coffee shop because it's a little dressed up but still pretty casual. Clearly you put effort in and you look nice. This one looks nice, um, but it's not like over the top. So I just paired it with this black zip up sweater vest and some black dickies and I think it looks really great. Okay, so you know I had to include a skirt in this video because it wouldn't be an androgynous lookbook without a skirt. So here we are. I think this one is super cute. It's my binder, black skirt, black platform shoes and that white satin button up shirt. I think this one looks just adorable. Definitely adorable vibes. Um, so if that's what you're going for, here's a really good option and also is pretty doable um, just in terms of what most people have in their closet. You probably have like a button up, a black skirt, and black shoes. Next up, we have a very basic outfit that is also very doable. Another good coffee shop, bookstore, thrifting type outfit so we've got a simple base layer outfit white t-shirt black belt blue jeans black shoes and then this cool funky cardigan that was my mom's that is now mine um it's ugly honestly but that's part of the look you probably have one of those pieces in your closet if you're one of my viewers I trust you guys, you have this outfit. So of course I had to include the cow sweater. So I paired it with that same sweater vest and it actually gives a nice textured look to the sweater. So you can't really tell they're cows unless you look up close. This also looks really nice with the leather jacket. I think all black or mostly black is a pretty good option when it comes to your little day outfit because you're gonna look cool pretty much no matter what you do. Even if there's just like one little pop of color, um, that's gonna be memorable. Okay, so uh, give me a, like, hear me out <laughs> this is my outfit if i were a scooby-doo character this is what i would wear crazy shirt crazy pants these pants are dickies the shirt is from asos as well gift from my sibling but once styled with that black jacket black belt black shoes it pulls it all together i love this outfit this is the loud fit actually <laughs> and i think that it looks really nice and is incredibly eccentric and definitely memorable. You definitely need confidence to be wearing this on a date and someone's gonna remember that outfit. Whether or not they have a good memory of that outfit is definitely a question. <laughs> but I think it's, it's pretty jazzy, it's pretty cool. I'm once again going to demonstrate why styling matters. This is my Beetlejuice outfit. <laughs> I think this looks really cool, but it looks bad unless I style it the right way. So keep that in mind with your clothing. There's always a way to make it look good, but I have this black 
jacket, black belt, black shoes, my go-tos. I talked about it in my styling video that I posted last week. It's just the Beetlejuice shirt, obviously, and then the red Dickies. I love this. It's a lot. It's eccentric, but it also is going to be memorable. So if you're trying to make an impression, you definitely absolutely will. My fingers are cold. As you can see, those are what cold fingers look like. I hope this video was kind of helpful or kind of fun for you guys. If you liked the outfits or if you absolutely hated them, please comment. Let me know which ones you hated because there are some questionable ones in here. I'm not being serious. Please don't leave me hate comments. It makes me really sad. <laughs> Your words have impact, let me just say. <laughs> Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. I make personality-based stuff and I just want to make a safe space for everybody to exist as they are, so that's what this channel is all about and check out dossier with the link in my description that's it for this one and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>